Well, today as a homemaker, I am going to hone in on my cooking and canning skills and doing some domestic arts improvements. I am picking some dill to make some pickles that I um, need to use some cucumbers I got from some friends at church. So I just think it's so wonderful to be able to do um, food prep, food preparation and food storage really for my family because that is something I feel serves them and serves them well and even if it doesn't turn out successfully because this is my first time making pickles which however they did turn out really lovely and have a wonderful taste um, that even trying and doing things like this is just a way to serve my family and the people that I love so I'm gonna bring you along today with my homemaking and what I'm doing in the kitchen and the garden and just going to um, give you a few recipe ideas and just bring you around my garden so it's gonna be a really just simple video today for you and I will put the um, recipe in the description box like I said it turned out really well I had a great taste and um, yeah I hope you just enjoy and feel encouraged today with what I am doing as a homemaker and know that um, you can serve your family well by what you do as a homemaker too. absolutely just love how this random sunflower this giant thing is growing right in front of my sweet corn um, it just shows God's handiwork and beauty I did plant some seeds and only one came up but I just think it's so powerful so strong it just shows um, how things grow and how wonderful and beautiful they can be in a random place Walking through my gardens is just such a way of relaxing for me and pulling weeds. I mean, I truly don't mind that at all. Um, picking some produce, just kind of meandering through. And I hope with this new garden, this is my first year garden. Um, I have a couple others that I've had for several years, but I'm hoping for this one to be just one that will eventually be my cottage style garden where you can just meander through it casually and enjoy the beauty that it brings and um, I just think it's so fun it's so fun to be out there in the day listening to the sounds and then of course gotta eat some of that raw vegetable it's just so fun to have a little bit of a snack while you're out eating um, or reading and eating that fresh produce Again, some more of those beautiful sunflowers that just happen to grow in different places than I really expected. They're kind of scattered throughout this garden and I just think it's so neat and they are coming to bloom. And one thing I love about sunflowers is how they follow the sun throughout the day. And it's just so neat to see that that's how God created them is to follow the sunlight. But I'm just checking all my plants out here. Um, got some tomatoes that are finally ripening and it's a little late for me but um, you know what I'm so glad to be getting produce and that's what I'm so grateful for so it is back to the kitchen I go and I am making something that I enjoy making and serving people it is a crisp this is something that my mom made quite often with any of the fresh fruit that was prevalent at that time. So this is a mulberry strawberry crisp. And 
I really enjoy making food that I am good at, to be honest, because it's just so quick, easy, and when you serve it to guests, it's so enjoyable to hear them love your food, and it makes it just all the better to want to serve them that way, too. couldn't go without sharing some time with Maggie and of course my little girl Nuvea. It's break time from all the homemaking and honestly though this is part of homemaking. Spending time with your kids or spouse or pet or whatever you've got and Nuvea is just so funny. She loves produce and I love that about gardening is because I'm raising her to see where it comes from and enjoy it as well. Back at it again, homemaking requires a lot of time in the kitchen, honestly, especially being a woman who loves making foods from scratch. I'm just making a really simple tuna casserole recipe. Um, I had a wonderful event to go to, a women's um, event for our church, so I wanted to do something quick, easy, semi-healthy, and of course had some fresh garden green beans along the side um, and fresh parsley to throw in there. But I just, like I said, love making food for my family and I have such a gracious husband and that is one benefit of a man who is just so thoughtful is that you want to keep doing this. So I, I just love him for that. But I hope you enjoyed this video and since it is the last meal of the day, I am going to call it a night. And again, I hope you're inspired to do some sort of homemaking today. Um, and that you just love what you do. Mm -hmm.